I'm with the co-owner of Bread and Board, and we all around town just know him as Chef Dwayne. Great to be with <laughs> you. And hey, they're catering the Florida Theater Ball, Big Easy style, and we're getting a sample before the big night. Welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, this this smells incredible. It overtakes you with just pleasure here. What are some of the signature flavors of New Orleans? Because I feel like I'm in Louisiana right now. Well, Louisiana and New Orleans in particular, the original melting pot of culinary um, culture in, in America. Anyway, you have. Afro-Caribbean flavors, French, Italian, Spanish, all converged um, hundreds of years ago into that city. And you actually, we were talking before the show, you actually went there to just immerse yourself in the culture and the food. This is not yeah. just a chef taking a recipe, oh, let's check out this Cajun recipe. No, you lived there, you went there, you just wanted to experience it. And I'm experiencing right here. So, uh, Chef, what do we got going on here today? Um, well, this is one of the dishes we're gonna be doing at the event, and it is a classic shrimp creole. Uh, really mm -hmm. the difference between a Cajun dish and a Creole dish is that uh, Creole dishes aren't thickened with roux. So we're gonna, okay. we just have slow simmered dishes. This one is a tomato gravy, a spicy tomato gravy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be serving it over some herbed rice. This is just, mm. again, one of probably 50 dishes we're doing. Very good. And your name is awesome. So where did the name bread and board come from? On an airplane, flying to Jacksonville, the uh -huh. first time to come when we were coming back, we were designing a uh, kind of an internationally inspired sandwich cafe is what we thought. Okay. Of fresh bread and we deconstruct the sandwiches and serve them on boards as well. I love it. Okay, so you're an inspiration and inspire us with food. Let's make some food together. Perfect. So. Well, we've time constraints, of course, today. We've yeah. brought everything that go into the dish, but everything here is as simple as it gets in making it. And then, of course, we've got something for you to sample. But mm -hmm. we start with some simple olive oil and our, our trinity, which I'm, is our onions, you. peppers, and celery. Okay. So we're going to add that into some. Ooh, that's real sizzle there. I'm gonna yes. let you stir while I kind of talk through this. Yeah, the big three, I'll give it a yeah, stir. Yeah, it's kind here. of a one pot wonder if you don't count the rice dish, of course. Mm -hmm. And you're just kind of layering these, these spices and flavors as we go. You just kind of sweat down mm -hmm. the trinity, of course, here. And then to that, we're gonna be adding some fire roasted tomatoes. Uh -huh. Nice caramelized, kind of toasty, smoky tomato. We're gonna be adding some uh, blackening seasoning, which we make in-house as well, kind of our proprietary blend of Right. Uh, Non-salted blend because we want to salt as we go. So you can kind of control that. Right. But we've got garlic, the trinity. Seems like we have everything, all the seasonings you can think of, all the good tasty seasonings you're just putting all together in one, right? Absolutely. And this is this is really where the uh, the Italian and the, the uh, French come into play with the, the use of herbs. And then, of course, the Afro-Caribbean is where the, the use of the, the dry spices and chilies come into New Orleans style food. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to, to try some of this. And here, is this going to, you're working on this for the Florida Theater uh, for the big program coming up? Yeah. So this uh, is one we're going to be doing lots of the classic dishes, the jambalayas. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing baked oysters, red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. We're doing sausage sampling, all the different classic sausages that, that you can experience in, in uh, Louisiana. Well, we have a big night out. We need to do some big easy, right? Right. Okay. Absolutely. It all Absolutely. fits good. Okay. Very good. And then the shrimp, you got the nice large shrimp here, it looks yep, like. This is actually called an Eastern White, and this comes from Mayport locally here. Very uh, good. This Very is good. what the classic Mayport shrimp is an Eastern White. Uh -huh. I like to use a little bit larger shrimp when you're doing this. It makes for a prettier presentation, which we'll see. Okay. Um, to this, we're going to add just a little bit of fresh herbs to get some aromatics in there. Mm. Kind of stir that in, you'll end up pulling those back right. out, but after they uh, have, have been in there for just a couple minutes. All right, let's stir nice it up. fair amount, right? I love it. Okay. Yeah, it gives it even a more kick. Mm. You start that to smell. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. Breathe again. It's clearing me out, chef. Well, it's it's gonna be the spiciest breakfast you've probably had in a while. <laughs> That's good. I like And I like to I like to serve this dish uh, and a lot of New Orleans dishes that come with the gravies, which is a simple French baguette. You, you tear it, hand tear it, and right. start dunking away. And we're oh. gonna do that for you too. Okay. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna plate, we're gonna plate some of this up for you. Okay, got my fork ready. Here we go. We got the bowl. Put that there for just I one second. I feel like we need a drum. Like we're doing a little drum roll here. That rice looks outstanding. It's yeah, this is you know rice. every everything we do. Never looks like that, chef. I'm, we'd like to yeah. layer flavor too. So to this, I've added just a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cider vinegar, sugar. and then fresh herbs. Just a hint. You don't taste the sweet. All right. Um, and then we've got fresh chives and parsley in here. So that every bite of every dish oh. that we do at the restaurant and that night in particular comes with just loaded full of flavor. Okay. So we're gonna take that back to our plate. Did this it. is a New Orleans thing. They like to mound their rice. <coughs> I Excuse love it. Me. Nice and clean looking, yes. Nice and clean. New Orleans uh, little flavor and there's yep. our sauce. We're just gonna My move goodness, that over yeah, here for one second. There. 
as, as wow. you, yep, you've got all that beautiful local like, shrimp. Smells like grandma's house a little bit. Mm, and that's a good thing. Grandma made some great food. So Chef Dwayne, you know how to do it right here, bread and board. And so how can folks find you downtown while we're talking a little bit here? This location we've been in now for about a year. We love it. We're at uh -huh. the base of the Vice Star Tower at okay. 100 West Bay Street. Mm -hmm. We've got the entire ground floor. We've got a floral market. We've got Alewife, which is our, our um, beer partner. Okay. We've got a, a beer outlet. So if you haven't checked it out, Bread and Board downtown, great location. They even have some flowers and all kinds of fun stuff as you walk in toward the Bread and Board. So, Absolutely. Uh, you got to check it out. Oh, the it always I, With seafood, it always is there. Use it okay. or, or not, but I like to squeeze a little fresh seafood. So right. I'm going to do that this for you. This is going to be tough to share, you know. This, this smells so good. I, well, I wish you could smell this, folks. I, they I'll, call I'll me the Italian mother of downtown, <laughs> and that's because I always come with a lot. So. All right. <laughs> Chef Duane, it's been a pleasure. And again, you can taste the New Orleans inspired foods at the Florida Theater Ball in Big Easy Style on May 20th. So May 20th is a big night. Tickets are available online.